Mm -hmm. In other news, come December 1st, the Special Economic Recovery Zone order that allowed for the tax-free importation of building supplies on Grand Bahama and Abaco post-Hurricane Dorian is set to expire. However, recently there has been some confusion with the deadline. Tonight, our Aja Quant gives us the latest from the Minister of Economic Affairs, who shares why a case-by-case -case basis will be considered after December 1st. Well, Romico, there has definitely been some confusion on when exactly the Special Economic Recovery Zone order will end. Well, the Minister responsible for Economic Affairs, the Honorable Michael Halkidis, is clearing up the date, noting that the order will end next week, but some exceptions will be made. The service order expires uh, 1st December um, 2022, which is next week. And... Um, uh, what we said was, you know, there has been some question about persons who have not had the opportunity to rebuild or to purchase um, materials to rebuild or to replace their furniture, cars, etc. We understand that, um, but our position is that um, it is not feasible to maintain the blanket exemptions. And although the order ends December 1st, Minister Alkita says the government understands that special dispensation may need to be given on a case by case basis, particularly for those who have not been able to rebuild since Hurricane Dorian. We do not want to disadvantage those who have not um, fought themselves yet, so, so to speak, and those who still need some more time, we will still consider those applications on a case-by-case -case basis. And for individuals, for example, who have purchased material and they have not been imported or they might not be imported by the 1st of December, of course, we'll take that into consideration as well. Um, if, the, if the shipment comes in late, we, of course, we'll honor those approvals. As to when the case-by-case -case basis will end, here's what the minister had to say. We think that the best course of action to be able to really reach those who really need it is to, um, you know, let the, the blanket exemption expire deal with individuals on a case-by-case -case basis, and we will determine how long that goes on by the conditions on the ground, um, you know, people's ability to rebuild and, and repair their, their houses. And so as we see um, those applications um, tapering off, then we'll, we'll make a decision. Now, the Economic Affairs Minister says that the government is prepared to be flexible with those putting in applications for review. And for anyone wanting to apply on Grand Bahama, you can visit the Ministry for Grand Bahama in the Harold de Gregory Building, or for those in Abaco at the Office of the Prime Minister in the government complex, Marsh Harbor. Live in studio for the Bahamas tonight, the Northern Edition. I'm Azure Quant, back to you, Amico.